Now, why do we manipulate the temple? Because it has metabolic, neural, and hormonal effects, okay? In an absolute fantastic book by Hartman and Tunneyman called uh, Fitness and Strength Training for All Sports by Sportsbook's uh, publisher. I highly recommend it. Uh, they show that performing squats slowly at, a, at six to eight seconds per repetition consumes 20 to 40 percent more energy than if you do them at a faster pace of two to four seconds per repetition. And you know that. If you do a squat slowly compared to fast, you're expending more energy. It's a lot tougher. There are also neural consequences. So slow arm curls done for 10 seconds down, two seconds up, will preferentially recruit the brachialis. The brachialis is the prime stabilizer of the elbow. While fast arm curls at 2020, so basically two seconds down, two seconds up, will preferentially recruit either the biceps brachii or the brachial radialis, depending on the grip orientation. Greater involvement of the bicep brachii in what grip? Yeah, brachial radialis, neutral, and brachialis uh, pronation, right? It's not that they're one is working over the other. It just, there's a greater contribution of that particular elbow flexor at that particular grip. And then finally, hormonal, slow movement exercises that are conducted at a tempo of five seconds down, one second up, will significantly increase epinephrine uh, levels, um, growth hormone, testosterone, and cortisol compared to a much faster tempo of one second up, one second down. So it also has hormonal consequences to it.